Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we're actually going to be doing a lab tour, because I've moved my lab out to the back where I have more space, uh, mainly because my brother took over my room a few months ago and I went off to university. But um, I thought I'd show you guys exactly what I have set up out here. So here's my fume hood. You guys have seen this lots in all my videos and stuff. Me and my sister actually built this way back like when I was in grade 9 or 10. Uh, so on the side I got a bunch of different rods and stuff for mixing stuff around. And I have a glass plate in the bottom, a couple other experiments around the back and stuff. I was just distilling some sulfuric acid, so that's kind of what's in the middle of it right now. I do have a plate up here that you can pull down, of course, so that you can have varying degrees of, of airflow and whatnot. Um, if I flick the switch over here on the side, you can see we have a significantly more powerful fan. So it requires a significant amount of amperage to start up, but once it's running, the airflow through here is is pretty pretty impressive. A lot better than what I had before with the bathroom fan. You can see up there, that's the uh, fan itself there. Just an old air conditioning unit fan, but it pulls an insane amount of air through. Anyhow, this is essentially the fume hood. I of course also have like the light that I can turn on and off and some power in the in the side and stuff so I can plug things into it. But uh, I'll move on to the next section. Okay, so I have a workbench here, which you can see, and underneath I have a whole bunch of different chemicals. I have all my glassware right here, a whole bunch of my equipment, like hot plate stirrers and heating mantles and stuff over there, some miscellaneous stuff underneath, which I plan on doing some experiments with, and I have all my pots and pans and whatnot over there, which is all pretty useful. Then on the side of my fume hood, I have some chemicals here. These are all mostly in small containers and just various chemicals. A lot of my acids and stuff are on the top and other chemicals that I use more frequently. Uh, but yeah, and then on the workbench here, it's a bit messy. I was just unpacking a bunch of stuff, but you can see I have a good amount of space to set up various experiments and whatnot. And I have this large tube heading out the window from where my fume hood was. Over here on this side, uh, I have a mini fridge for storing more volatile chemicals. And then here I also have a lab scale. This is actually an analog scale that my uncle gave me that he bought a long time ago. And it's super cool. It's, uh, I believe, accurate to four like decimal places, which is unbelievable. And it's not electronic at all, which I think is pretty cool. I'm yet to set it up and everything, but maybe I'll do that in another project. So over here I just have some other various storage things, a big box of junk, and uh, my magic bullets underneath, and those are just useful for grinding various chemicals and whatnot. I have like five different magic bullet motors and, and the blades, and then a whole bunch of different actual jars itself. And there I have all the broken glass for that I've ever broken. I just leave it in there, I don't know. I don't really have another place for it, but that's where it's always ended up. My arc furnace on top for when I need to do extremely high voltage and or uh, high temperature melting or decomposition reactions. And I do have 240 volts wired out here to the back shed, which is super nice. Over here, I have a whole bunch of my beakers and jars and whatnot and glassware there. Everything that's not in the box is essentially over there. And those are just nice and convenient to grab whenever I need them because beakers are used fairly frequently. I also have other things on top and my welding mask and gloves over there and whatnot. Some tools and stuff in the back. Another big box of junk underneath all that tools. Those are just random projects for for whatever. Just a b bunch of stuff that I think I might be useful one day. And then I do have this other shelf over here. And this is where I store a lot more of my bulk chemicals. So that's everything from like sodium hydroxide to ammonium sulfate and calcium chloride and whatnot. All sorts of stuff up there. And uh, I do have to share this space with my dad, who's got a whole bunch of other stuff over there. But for the most part, a lot of this is mine, and it all works out pretty well. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what the lab now looks like. I hope you guys enjoy. We'll be doing lots more projects out here over the summer and whatnot, so stay tuned. See you guys later. Bye.